Lesson 233 I give my life to God to guide today. Hi there. Would you like to experience what it's like to let your life be guided by God's perfect wisdom today? Let's see what Lesson 233 has to teach us about that. I give my life to God to guide today. Father, I give you all my thoughts today. I would have none of mine. In place of them, give me your own. I give you all my acts as well, that I may do your will instead of seeking goals which cannot be obtained, and wasting time in vain imaginings. Today I come to you. I will step back and merely follow you. Be you the guide, and I the follower who questions not the wisdom of the infinite, nor love whose tenderness I cannot comprehend, but which is yet your perfect gift to me. Today we have one guide to lead us on. And as we walk together, we will give this day to him with no reserve at all. This is his day. And so it is a day of countless gifts and mercies unto us. In other words, our usual thoughts and fears often dictate the course of our lives, but today, we have a choice. We can ask God to take all our thoughts, replacing them with his own, guiding us to true freedom. Let's open our minds and let go of our limited ideas. Remember those questions we've repeated throughout this course? What would you have me do? Where would you have me go? What would you have me say? And to whom? Let's not chase after things that ultimately don't matter or get lost in dreams and illusions today. Instead, let's follow the only thing worth following even if we can't fully comprehend the gifts of His infinite wisdom and boundless love. We're not alone, we have the Holy Spirit as our guide. By dedicating this day to God and offering Him all we have, our day will be filled with countless gifts and blessings. I give my life to God to guide today. I give my life to God to guide today. I give my life to God to guide today. Isn't that wonderful? Imagine how our days would transform by letting go of our usual thoughts and allowing the greater wisdom within us to guide us. Isn't it life-changing to know that by doing so, we open ourselves to countless blessings and guidance? Keep practicing every morning and evening as we've been doing. Take a moment every hour, and whenever you need a reminder, to embrace this beautiful idea, allowing God to guide your day. And don't forget we're currently navigating the section titled What is Salvation? According to A Course in Miracles, salvation is the gentle process of releasing illusions and returning to our natural state of peace and oneness with God. It fulfills God's promise to lead us back to Him, not by opposing the world of illusions, but by letting them fade away. As these illusions dissolve, we rediscover our true identity and eternal connection with God embracing the joyous vision of a world reborn in peace and happiness, leading us back to the eternal reality of heaven. If you haven't watched the video with the introduction to this section, just click on the video link that should appear on your screen at the end of this video. Or check the video description for the link to the video for section 2. You're on the right track and doing exceptionally well. Trust in this journey and the wisdom it brings. See you tomorrow for another powerful lesson. Quick note before you go. Making these videos is a labor of love, but it's still financially challenging. If you've found value in what you've watched, please consider supporting with a donation. Even the humblest contribution means the world and ensures the continuation of these daily lessons. Thank you for your generosity. Did you enjoy the video and find it helpful? Please give it a like and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have a new lesson every day. And if you've been with us for a while, please consider supporting the channel. There's a lot of love behind these videos. Check out the video description for more details.